that's gonna that's gonna hit him real deep. No man wants to hear about his wife admiring pictures of a hamster. What's up, Happy Gamers? I'm Happy the Happy Gamer, and welcome to Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator. Oh Sir is a game where you exchange insults with either your computer or an online friend or a local friend. And there's a whole lot of mechanics to it and everything, but you'll just have to see how it works. I want to show you guys this. It's really hilarious. Of course, they're all British insults, and, you know, British people are better at insulting than Americans are. We just say loser, and they say, you corn-beefed diaperless baboon, and, you know, whatever. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go for an instant argument here. Maybe someday we'll do some multiplayer stuff, but for right now, this is what we're going to do. I can't wait to show the- Oh! We can actually pick new characters! I didn't know that! I was so nice last time! Looks like Sean Connery, and I'm- I'm pretty sure it is. He kind of insults like this, you know, he's kind of a- He's kind of a gentle old man, but... He loves to insult because he's just like that, you know, he's had a long life. <laughs> Let's be Mr. J. Shufflebottom! How about that? Oh, hi there! John is a British John chap! Shufflebottom here! This might be a sufficient description! But it upset poor John because he aspires to be so much more. In his mind, he's a true gentleman and a men's fashion expert. This is a really terrible accent. He really thinks that his sartorial column in Enfield today makes him one, but at least he smells nice, brushes his teeth, and can throw on obscured local invective. As befits a British chap. Style is not something to take lightly. Okay, so each of these guys, each of these characters, has something that they hate to be insulted. In his case, he hates for his style to be insulted. Uh, so I can actually look at the, the rest of these characters and find out what their weaknesses you can call are. Me Mrs. Maggie, love. Okay, so Mrs. Maggie doesn't want to be insulted about her age, and then Sir Knight, Sir Knight doesn't want to be in, insulted about... Okay, that's kind of his age. He, he can't keep up with modern times. All right, let's just go with this. We're gonna go with Mr. J. Shufflebottom John here. John Shufflebottom. The whole idea of the game is to... Let's just do the pet shop, sounds good. The whole idea of the game is to... Exchange I wish to insults. About this parrot I purchased. The Norwegian blue. What's wrong with it? It's dead. That's what's wrong with it. No, no. He's resting. Okay. There's a little argument here. So it gives us these words here, and we have to form an insult with these words and these words down in our hand here. And we can take a little sip of tea to get new insults or new phrases down here in this. Oh crap. Let's start with your sister. Hmm. <laughs> This is a really hilarious game. Your sister never watched Star Wars. <laughs> that is a pretty insult. That's a pretty huge insult, man. Never watching Star Wars. Everyone has seen Star Wars. Your sister never watched Star Wars and your cousin's car was your country. Oh, sir. How dare you compare my cousin's car to America? That's terrible. Anything with America in it's gonna be an insult. And has worse hair than this conversation. <laughs> yes. Your cousin's car was your country. How dare you? How dare you, sir? How flipping dare you? Your sister never watched Star Wars and has worse hair than this conversation. Take that. Your sister never watched Star Wars and has worse hair than this conversation uh, Take your that. cousin's car was your country. How dare you, you piece of crap. Mm. All right, so I'm winning because I had a better in better insult. Mm. So since I said your sister never watched Star Wars, Star Wars is a modern day thing, so that's how it picked on him a little bit. He doesn't like that. How about this conversation has a steaming romp with... <laughs> your son has a steaming romp with you, piece of crap. This conversation is very naughty. <laughs> Your son has a steaming romp with his bloody pet shop. This conversation is very naughty and... What are you gonna say? Are you gonna end it right there? And you can't deny it. This conversation is very naughty and supports... I don't know what, <laughs> what we're gonna say. We'll just have to see. It's, it's his turn. Oh, he's finished and supports your mother and want it to be, we're just gonna keep it going. All right, so what the ellipsis does, basically, 
Your is it son holds this has insult for the next round. This bloody pet shop, and you can't deny it. I will deny it. I can do whatever I want. Hmm. My son doesn't have a steaming romp with anything. This conversation is very naughty and supports your mother and wants it to be your face. We're just going to make it a really long insult, I guess. I don't know. This conversation is very naughty and supports your mother and wants it to be your face and... <laughs> I can't... I can't wait for this. Tells dirty jokes at funerals. And... <laughs> it's going to be pretty abs absurd. And I don't know if it's actually going to work. And acts like I don't know if this is actually gonna work. And acts like your husband. We're done. We're done. That's it. That's as far as this insult's gonna go. I just wanna hear him say it. This conversation is very naughty and supports your mother and yeah. wanted to be your face and tells dirty <laughs> jokes at funerals and acts like your husband. What? Rude! How rude! Ugh. 38! The that was a huge hit! And your sense of style were born in your father. Ooh. It was hmm. born in my father, you piece of old crap! You old hmm. decrepit piece of crap! A cider drinking shav, a hamster, your wife. You can't insult an old man's wife, that's terrible. The African swallow was born in, let's see, your wife admires pictures of, the African swallow was born in your, how dare you? How dare you talk about the African swallow that way? Your wife admires pictures of a hamster. That's gonna that's gonna hit him real deep. No man wants to hear about his wife admiring pictures of a hamster. That's terrible. Your wife admires pictures of a hamster. Ah, uh, dang it, we don't have anything. We're just gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to save it for the next one. The African swallow was born in your mother and bothers me. I don't care if it bothers you, you the tottering African fool born head <laughs> was born in your mother and bothers me, you tottering fool born hedge pig. What is a tottering fool born oh. hedge pig? Hmm. <laughs> and so we'll save this one for the next round hmm. and it's gonna be really good. Your wife admires pictures of a hamster and. Oh! I wonder if being old will affect him more. And. Hmm. Your mother. Your wife admires pictures of a hamster and smells of some dirty rag. Okay, so now I'm gonna use both of these in my hand here. And is old, and then we'll we'll end it there. We'll probably get him. And he'll be done. Is old. Oh, I should have said is very naughty. That's alright. Your wife admires pictures of a hamster and smells of some <laughs> dirty rag and is old. Is old. Rude! How rude of you to say oh, that about his wife. Your mother changes into your wife, you lying git. My mother changes into my wife? <laughs> <gasps> will I'm married to my mother. Now? All right, then I will. I have plenty of them in the box. Okay, so that's how it works. One. Or I'll be back to complain. Oh look, he's all beat up. That's really cool. Okay, so there's a little argument, and then you, like, if you win, yeah, you guys saw it. I don't need to explain it. Let's go for another one here. Uh, let's be, let's be, well, let's be Mrs. Maggie. That sounds fantastic. You can call me Mrs. Maggie, love. She's seen things you people wouldn't believe. She fought wars, flirted with two presidents, composed a score for a naughty film, owned an arcade, and got stoned at the 20th anniversary of her menopause. <laughs> for 10 years, she was in a gang and just recently retired. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to kick the bucket. All right, so she hates her age being insulted. Yes, let's go for the train compartment. See what kind of conflict we have in this scenario. Excuse me, I believe this is my seat. Your seat? Does it have your name on it? I don't think so, but I have a ticket. First class, eh? You don't look like a first class to me. You piece of crap! Mm. Alright. 
How about, and also you can't have bad grammar because uh, they get on to you for that. Your cousin's car. <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh god, here we go. Your cousin's car poses nude for... He's talking about my sister. How dare you? My sister can beat the crap out of you. She's a cop. Your cousin's car poses nude for... Your wife. Let's see how well he takes that. Yeah, we're gonna continue. We're gonna save it for the next round. It seems like that works, but... It did tell me that continuations can be blocked with a rude insult, so hopefully he doesn't throw one of those Your at Your sister and this train swallowed a chewing gum. How dare you? How dare you insult my sister like that and accuse her of swallowing a chewing gum along with this train? That's baloney. Oh, he's talking about my math teacher down. Well, you can do that. I don't care. That's not going to be rude at all. Your cousin's car poses nude for your wife and... Yeah, oh, yes, I got a good one. I got a good one here. Farted on! Your mother! Take that! Your math teacher is you, I bet. Maybe. Your cousin's car poses your nude for your wife. Your cousin's car poses nude for your wife and farted on your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I only got Your 11 math for that? Teacher is you, I bet. Oh. She does look like a math teacher. Mm. I can't believe I only got 11 for that. That stinks. All right, let's go for your son. No man wants to hear mm. his son insulted. Unless his son was an accident, which is common nowadays. <laughs> your son doesn't own a color telly. Keeping up with times, that will insult him really good. Your son doesn't own a color telly. Dang it, I wanted some more. How about we take a sip? A sip of tea here. Dang it. We gotta finish. That will get him pretty good, I think. Your sister and this conversation can't exercise because of you! How dare you! How dare Your you, sir? sister and this conversation can't exercise because He's of holding out you, his, his vest like this. Crap. Rude. How rude of you, sir. Oh, Man, Mrs. Maggie sucks. Own or I suck. Telly. Ooh. Oh. That didn't Ooh. feel good, did it? Hmm. Sir Knight's toughened up a little bit. Hmm. Your seat. Okay. Here we go. Your wife. Let's insult his wife. I think that might work. Your wife. Never watched Star Wars. That'll get him good. Keeping up with modern times. He, he doesn't want to be insulted about that. Your wife never watched Star Wars, and... I don't know what I have in my hand, let me see. And... Is interested in photography. Is that a modern thing too? I bet that'll get him. I bet that'll get him. Let's end it right there. Please be a good one. Please be a good one. Of course, he's gonna... Hopefully he doesn't get me really good here. And he might. Your Lady. seat dances <laughs> like your mother and was born in Elderbreeze. Oh, Lady. man. Ooh. My seat. Your wife never watched Star Wars and is interested Bam. in photography. Bam. Take that. Oh. <clears throat> Dang it. I'm not going to be able to get him. He insulted my seat and said that my seat was born in Elderberries. As if my seat's mother and father got it on in some pile of Elderberries. All right, your husband. Here we go. Hmm. This will get him. This will get him. Your husband will always be alone. And dang it, acts like some dog work with your country. <laughs> dang it, the queen. Your husband will always be alone and act like the queen. Bam! I guess I could have added is silly on there. Your husband will always Some be alone. Oh my gosh. Worked with your country and has worse hair than a rottish fishmonger. So go dare back to you? your seat. Oh. A rottish fishmonger? Will always be alone and acts like 
the queen. Bam! Ugh. Dang it! <clears throat> Crap! I don't know what to say here. A frightened schoolboy is rather plain. Your father... There's two ands, so that's good. Makes me sick, and... Was... I don't know. And... Your husband smells of you, you piece of crap. And... Was born in... A frightened schoolboy. And... Is rather plain. A cheese shop. <laughs> oh, dang it! Has not finished puberty would have been great. Let's go for that one. Come on. Your father makes me sick. And yeah. Was born in a frightened schoolboy. Yeah. And he's rather plain. Dang, that hurts. Uh, dang it. Your husband I lost. smells of you. You piece of crap. Uh, I went. I lost. Know, I'm not a first class myself. I just wanted to see how it felt. And it certainly was worth it. Poor I Miss Maggie. It. I won't sit where your Look filthy at her. bottom was. <laughs> I don't have a filthy bottom. I wash my bottom with soap right in the crack. Every day. Gosh dang it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed Oh Sir, the insult simulator. Let me know if you want more of this series. I would love to just continue it just for the heck of it. It's pretty funny. I like it. It's really interesting. And I, I really enjoy the mechanics. It's really an interesting and enjoyable game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of it. All right, guys, I like this video. And if you like this video, please leave me a like, because I would like that. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And of course, I will see you next time. Don't they? Like, or something like that. Evil potatoes, something like that. It doesn't matter. The point is, Sean Murray lied to us and we got a crappy game. Ah.